All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and the do it well. And much peace, love, blessing, and many salutations to the elect. All right, I am the brother Shapal <clears throat> out of the Great Millstone Dallas branch, coming to you all again with another lesson. And Lord, one in this lesson here will be edifying into the flock of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And this is just, uh, you know, a lesson that I wanted to do, you know, just meditating upon this while, uh, you know, uh, on the verge of getting off the plantation, which, um, you know, I'm off now. But wanted to go into this uh, just pretty much dealing with the, um, you know, this whole Pride Month thing and specifically how they've taken, you know, something very beautiful, the creation and the covenant of the Lord, you know, being, being the rainbow. And they've pretty much used it as a um, as a means to forward their you know, wickedness, you know, pretty much mocking the Heavenly Father's creation, you know, it's, it's, it's really disgusting and despicable, man, and essentially the Lord is going to uh, reward unto them a, a, a particular prize for that, you know, and it's not a good prize, okay, but we're going to actually get into the covenant, you know, because uh, the, the, the Lord made a covenant with Noah, being that he wouldn't flood the earth anymore, all right, and this was the covenant that he made, all right, Genesis 9, and, um, uh, let's start at verse 8 right, It says And the Most High spake unto Noah And to his sons with him Saying And I Behold I establish my covenant with you And with your seed after you And with every living creature that is with you Of the fowl Of the cattle And of every beast Of the earth with you From all that go out of the ark To every beast of the earth And I will establish my covenant with you Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. You see, so this is the covenant. And what it entails was a, was a specific sign. All right. So it says, 12, uh, verse 12, And the Mosai said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud. And it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and and the earth and it shall come to pass when i bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud and i will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh so that was the covenant the lord was set the rainbow to where we could see it in particular angles when the waters and the, you know particularly even even sometimes you'll see like via puddles on the ground you can see the rainbow so it's a <laughs> man it's a, it's a beautiful thing that the lord created man it's a it's a covenant at the end of the day let's actually grab this word um <coughs> covenant because a lot of people think you know make mention of the you know first covenant and the second uh the new covenant but they don't they don't know about particular other covenants this being one of them all right but that word covenant strong's h 1285 all right, uh, Barath, uh, Salakia, Barayath, all right, Barayath, all right, it says covenant, alliance, pledge, all right, a treaty, essentially, man, it's an ordinance, so to pretty much the Lord made a, a, a covenant, bro, he made, he pledged to man that this wouldn't, so this was something to, like, okay, the water, you how about Simeon Shai, man, that's beautiful, I, man, it's, it's truly remarkable at the end of the day, man, like the Lord, <laughs> can do whatever he wants and he made a promise a covenant that he wasn't going to flood the earth anymore you know because there was a lot of death when he flooded the earth but we know that a hey, men and their own devices their own thoughts and their, how, how you know essentially um the scripture says what that um let me see if i could grab it real quick yeah uh ecclesiastes 7 and 29 it says lo this only have i found that the most high hath made man upright but they have sought out many inventions and that's why you read in genesis 6 that you know the most High saw and that the thoughts of men was only con uh, wickedness continually you know so it, the lord it said the the lord repented that he made man bro the lord repented like he was like <laughs> Yo, he, he was like what did i even do with this like so he wiped the whole earth man via a flood and saved only eight people, man. Noah, uh, his three sons, and their wives. Okay, Noah and his household, man. You read about that in Second Peter, the second chapter as well. 
And it also goes into Sodom and Gomorrah, that was, you know, essentially given as an example unto any who afterwards should live in the same uh, manner. Right. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, man? It was taken out because of what? It's perverse sexual deeds that were taking place, man. People taking hold of these uh, the same things we see going on today, man. OK, so you think America's any different? It's not going to be touched, man. You're sadly mistaken. Okay, but I'm going to read that again. Ecclesiastes 7.29, it says, Lo, this only have I found, <clears throat> that the Most High hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. So they're going to be, like the scripture says, the wicked shall be taken in their own devices, bro. That goes for two-thirds of our people as well. It goes for mainly the elites, you know, the, the Edomites, the Idumians, the self-proclaimed white people, but it also goes for everybody else who follows after those ideologies, man. It follows after those things, okay? Now, let's see. I had um this right here. Isaiah 3 and uh, 9. It says, The show of their countenance doth witness against them. Right? These people walk around. You look at them. They're all fruity and uh, hella sugar in their tank, so to speak. All right? It says, And they declare their sin as Sodom. So, they declare it boldly, man. You know? They, they pretty much boast in it. You know? It's just something to be... In this world, it's something that, that's installed, like it's, it's put up on a pedestal, like you're special. You're special, man, because you, you you know, you never really hear about straight pride. You always hear about, you know, this, this, when you think about pride, you think about all this other abominable shit going on, man. And it really pisses you off, but it says what? And they declare their sin is Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. And that's, that's exactly what's, what uh, was just said, man. <coughs> that essentially the Lord, you know, that you 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 uh, let the wicked be taken in their own devices, right? So you, the, man, the most high made men to be upright, but they, but they seek out all this other nonsense, man. The world pretty much is a, is a snare and a trap, especially here in Babylon the Great. All right, these Western philosophies and all this bullshit, which is basically pretty much propagated amongst the people. You know, people are indoctrinated from a youth up and then it's pushed out into all these other nations. Even the Eastern world is getting like, you know, what I'm saying they're getting rid of certain things and certain laws in which was, you know, righteous. And they're, they're taking hold of certain ideologies of, of, of America, man. That's why the scripture says the wine of the, uh, the other nations that have drinking the wine of the wrath of our fornication, man. You know, I believe that's Revelation 17, but this is um closed out here. You know, I didn't want to make this too long, but just hitting the point and, and the closing out, you know, the, the, the people of this world, although the Lord made that covenant, yes, he's not going to flood the world again, but there is a fire, man. All right, there is a fire which is in store for these wicked ass people. All right, this is Second Peter 3, all right, and... um Five, it says, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. You see, the old world, that, that perished as well. But this world, like it says, But the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. And perdition of ungodly men you see so and this, this is a beautiful chapter because it goes into the elements melting with fervent heat man you know these people have no idea what's what's uh what's in store essentially man okay and good you know i i, I want to see these people get taken like a thief by a thief in the night or like a thief in the night man as the scripture says the lord yahweh shai and mashiach he's coming as a thief in the night all right the day of the Lord is going to be darkness, you know. The slain of the Lord shall be many, and rightfully so, man, because these people are proud as hell, all right? So you proud, you pride month, hey, go ahead. The Lord is going to fucking destroy you people, man, all right? And we, for one, cannot wait, bro. So with that, you know, the, pretty much the point was being made, like I said, just something I was meditating on, wanted to get into. All right, Lord, when it was edifying, closing, I want to give all praise, honor, Infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakhak Wadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and peace, blessings, many salutations to the elect. Shalom. <clears throat>